Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Family Nature Club, part of Faulkner County Library's 2020 Summer Reading Program, Imagine Your Story. My name is Miss Mary, and I'm so glad that you've joined us today. Now, some of you may be aware from our social media posts that I planted a fairy tale garden, and then, of course, the coronavirus arrived and kind of wreaked havoc on our programming this summer. But one of the things I planted from seedlings, these two, were sunflowers. And yesterday I posted that they were officially taller than me. I'm five foot three, so they're taller than me. And this morning, look, this sunflower has opened. Very exciting, right there's some here, other blooms on it. So in honor of our sunflower opening, I thought this morning we would read a sunflower story. This is the sunflower that went flop by Joy Cowie. I'm not quite sure who it's published by. Let me take a quick gander. The right group. <laughs> and look, if you open it up, look at that. There is a sunflower. Do you recognize it? It has big yellow leaves like this one and a dark brown, big circular center. Also like that one. She's like, what do you think? What do you think that feeling is that she's having? I think she's like, oh. <laughs> Okay. Mrs. Brown had a sunflower growing by the wall. It was straight and tall and yellow as the sun. The people passing by looked at it and said, what a beauty, it's gorgeous. Day after day, the sunflower stood tall by the wall under the hot sun. It's been kind of hot lately, hasn't it, here as well. Then, one afternoon, suddenly, the sunflower went flop. Can you do that? Can you go flop? <laughs> what a shame, said the people passing by. Oh, my poor flower cried Mrs. Brown, and so she ran to Mr. Brown. Look, the people are saying, how sad. That's too bad. What is it, my love? Asked Mr. Brown. Our big yellow sunflower went flop, she said. Mr. Brown only laughed. Don't get in a tiz, he said. I'll fix it. I can fix anything. There, there. Oh, that's so nice. He's comforting her, giving her a nice hug. Mr. Brown opened his fix-it bag and got out some sticky tape. This should do it, he said. He went stick, 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 stood the sunflower up by the wall again. What a clever man you are, said Mrs. Brown. Mr. Brown put away his fix-it bag. Think nothing of it, my love, he said. It was easy. That should do it. And look, you can see there's the tape. Tick, 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 tape. Do you think it looks like it worked? I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think tape would work, but it's holding. I wonder what's going to happen next. Oh, the sun was hot all day and the next afternoon, and suddenly the sunflower went <gasps> flop. What a shame, said the people passing by. Mrs. Brown saw it and cried, oh, my poor sunflower. And she called Mr. Brown. What is it, my love? he asked. Our sunflower went flop again, she said. Oh dear, did you think that's what was going to happen? Mr. Brown only laughed. Don't get in a tiz, he said. I'll fix it. I can fix anything. He opened his fix-it back and got out a needle and string. This should do it, he said. He went stitch, 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 and stitched the sunflower up by the wall. And yeah, look, you can see he's sewing it on there with a needle and thread. Huh. What a clever man you are, said Mrs. Brown. Mr. Brown put away his fix-it bag. Think nothing of it, my love, he said. It was easy. Hmm, that's better, says the lady walking by. Do you think that's going to work this time? It'll keep the sunflower from going... Flop! Ooh, I hope so. The sun was hot all day. In the next afternoon, suddenly the sunflower went, you guessed it, flop. What a shame, said the people passing by. 
Oh dear, oh dear, cried Mrs. Brown. What is it, my love, said Mr. Brown, and yet look, the people passing by are saying, just look at that. What a shame. What a pity. Our sunflower has gone flop, again, said Mrs. Brown. Mr. Brown only laughed. <laughs> Don't get in a tiz, he said. I'll fix it. I can fix anything. He opened up his fix-it bag and got out a hammer and nails. This should do it, he said. He went hammer, 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 and stood the sunflower up by the wall again. What a clever man you are, said Mrs. Brown. Mr. Brown put away his fix-it bag. Think nothing of it, my love, he said. It was easy. And look. You can kind of see, I think he kind of looped the nails, creating a little bracket or holder around the stem. Because when I first read it, I thought, you can't hammer through that plant. But he didn't. He kind of went over the plant, the stalk of the plant. Ooh, what a nice word, stalk. Oh, the sun was hot all day. What do you think is going to happen? Mm -hmm. The sun was hot all day. And the next afternoon, suddenly the sunflower went. Yep, let's do it all together. Flop! It's flopped again. It's had it. What a shame, said the people passing by. Mrs. Brown looked at it and shook her head. Can you shake your head like this? Go, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Then she went to tell Mr. Brown. It's done it again, she said. Oh, said Mr. Brown. Blow, said Mr. Brown. Can you fix it? asked Mrs. Brown. Of course, said Mr. Brown. I can fix anything, but let's do it in the morning. I'm always best at fixing things in the morning. Uh-oh. Do you think Mr. Brown can't fix it? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see what happens next. That night, it rained and rained and rained. The sunflower drank and drank and drank. It grew straight and tall again. The next morning, the people passing by stopped to look. What a beauty, they said. Mrs. Brown went to the window. <gasps> My sunflower, she cried. It's as good as new. She ran to Mr. Brown and hugged him. I don't know how you did it, she said. You fixed it. You really fixed it. What a clever man you are. But Mr. Brown only laughed. <laughs> Think nothing of it, my love, he said. It was easy. And that's the end, but wait a minute. Mr. Brown didn't really fix the plant that last time. What fixed the plant? Yeah. The water that sunflower needed, water. That's right. When plants get the water they need, it helps them grow straight and tall or sideways and long. It helps them grow the way that they need to grow. So if you have a garden at home or any plants that you're taking out care of outdoors, don't forget to water. Oh, thank you so much for joining me this morning for Family Nature Club. I don't think you can see it, but y'all there are tons of dragonflies that just flew in. There's a lot of them. Wow. I wish you were here to share this with me. Speaking of watering though, I need to water my plants. We still have roses and down here, let me move the camera. We've got a nice pretty pink zinnia and um, we don't have any new pumpkin gourd yet, but We'll see, I'm still hopeful. And I know it's hard to believe, but I really, really think we might actually have some marigold blooms soon. Thanks for sharing in the joy of gardening with me um, through social media. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.